you get into my championship predictions, there's still the playoffs. That video was made on the 9th of September. I typed in Watford 1 0 bubble, the first game of the season, and they've given me Glen Murray. The 11th of September. Those were my predictions for the Leeds year. I said the transfer window was open for another month. Like that would have changed a lot. I've got FIFA 20 to predict it. Updated transfers. What would want it? 9th to 16th and 17th to 24th, Barnsley bottom. Watford still had Delafeu, he went on loan to Udinese, then they made it permanent. I hope he comes back. Only Puki and Aarons got in the actual team of the season. I started with Watford and Middlesbrough first, as they were playing. Delafayu, Capu, Estupinan and Dawson all left. I said we would finish second, even though I'd like the trophy. We finished second when we went up last time. All players that left are Keen on loan. Glen Murray went to Forest. Welbeck, Sinclair, Penavendo, Suarez, Perceto, Pereira, Janna. A few of our most important players are there, Simo, Femenio and Sierra Velta. I don't think Sierra Velta played that much under Ivic. Under Cisco Munoz, he plays centre back, one of the best centre backs in the league. Trista Kong joined in the summer as well from Udinese. 30 goals conceded, best defence in the league by 6. Ivic had a second once, apparently, according to Chancellor Market. He got sacked after Huddersfield away, the thing with Dini getting dropped. He lasted 20 games. He would probably be 5th to 7th if he stayed for the whole season. So many boring games other than the 2 3 twos. And the 4 1. The games I watched live were Middlesbrough, Luton, Bournemouth, and then I just stopped wasting our money. You had to pay a tenner. Cisco's first game on Boxing Day, I watched that, saw that game got rescheduled, and it was Swansea Elo celebrated in front of Foster's GoPro. That's why we're promoted, we can win loads of games in a row. There was this, where fans were saying he should get, he should get sacked. That middle game was before QPR. I injured my leg on the 8th. We won all four games when I was in hospital. 6-0 against Bristol C. I came out of the hospital on the 25th. Then we lost to Bournemouth, Dan Juma. I was like, take me back to hospital. I seen those two winners against Forest and Cardiff. Last minute free kick against Cardiff. Yeah, the formation was 4 4 2. Then it got so much better when he went to 4 3 3. On record, 19 wins, 2 draws, 2 losses. We lost to Cardiff and QPR. The yeah, way record isn't that great at all. So he signed on the day I made this video. Did Udinese actually play him right back? On FIFA 21 he's gone up 8 ratings. On transfer market he could play for Spain. Which is probably why Cisco brought him in. I don't even know if I mentioned who's in Saar. If we couldn't get out of championship with them, with them we are cut. Middlesbrough. I put them 17th. Same place they finished last season. They finished 10th. This team looks so much better than what it did on FIFA 20. Balassi, Cabano. 
That's the FIFA 20 team. They were 17th once. I said that Neil Warnock can get teams promoted. The first 13 games, they only lost to the top two. They've let the three teams that got relegated beat them with come today. I think that helps for playoffs died at Swansea. Are oh, you last minute penalty? I put Wickham 20th for the memes. They were so close to staying up. One more win. Maybe if they had their fans in the stadium, they would have stayed up. I saw Piazu scoring a lot of goals for them. I think he played for Watford. They came in in January. If they had them for the whole season, they would have stayed up. Yeah, he was their top scorer. Then the left back. Probably scoring penalties on your dinner. Some club needs to appoint Gareth Ainsworth. If they had beat Swansea, they would have stayed up. Two all draw. They were 2 0 no up. And Musque and McCleary. And then 80th minute low penalty. Cullen 82nd minute. That's where they found out Watford were losing to Lewin. They were out of the bottom three once. They only scored 17 at home. It took them eight games to get a point, obviously against Watford. Two games in, and I knew they were going to be really good. Then they beat Wednesday and Birmingham. Three draws. Preston. Cardiff at home. They lost 7 to Brentford, Huddersfield away, beat Rotherham 3 0 on the last two. On the 6th of September, they took Brentford to penalties. Never mind Ip Piazu joined them in the summer. They only scored 11 away goals in 16 games last season. I put Cooper Yard in 21st. He started winning as well, just to make it more bad. They brought Charlie Austin back. He got a team of the season card in the Prem. Adolma, Willock, Johansson, DeWay. Selling him is why I put him solo down. Like it's got 12 and 5 assists. I saw his goal for Livingston against Selwick last season. The game today was the decider for who is the most tin pot. They were top more times than Watford. What a joke. And then just mid table mediocrity. What a boring club. They're lucky they beat Forest. Imagine. Not winning any of your first eight. So at the start of 2021, they were 20th. In 2020, they were playing 4 2 3 1. Then he changed it to 3 at the back. I said that Dickey was good for Oxford against Portsmouth in the playoff semi finals. Yeah, I said they're this low because he's gone. And then also Naki Wells and Jordan Hugo. I put Rotherham 24th. They had so many chances. To be fair to them, they had to play a lot of games in a short amount of time. 14 defeats at home isn't good enough. The dates on here are all over the place, February the 3rd, January the 27th, April in there, another April. Marlon Pack, 88th minute goal to relegate them, has he ever scored in his life? When that goal went in, Waghorn was on the spot, ready to take a penalty. What even is this league? I thought 
thought it was a bit weird. Playing one striker and leaving the dapper on the bench. In my Swansea Cavema video, I said Rotherham would stay up. Then I changed it to Derby. Rotherham need to put a yo-yo on their badge. I said there, they might not finish bottom, but they will 100% go down. 23rd, Sheffield Wednesday. Steal away your lands. When their season started, they had minus 12 points. And then they got changed to minus 6. If they won that 4-3, they would have stayed up. This one they had four managers or coaches, Gary Monk, Tony Poulos, Neil Thompson, and Darren Moore. Rotherham beat them 3-0, then Wickham 1-0. Look how many defeats and draws there are. Good form there. Really bad form there. And they lost to Rotherham again. If that happens to you, they beat you twice, you're in the mod. 19th, Barnsley. I'm guessing a lot of people put them in the bottom three. Helic, who is a son about ain't in there. And he got a team of the season in a warmer team. They still had Truba as manager. I think their new manager's name is Ismail. They beat Brentford and Forest last season to stay up. Helic came from a Polish club. How did they find him? Pfizer came in as well. And then DK in January. What a beast. Woodrow 12, DK 9, Mowat 8, Mowat 7, Helic 5. Woodrow 6 assists. Styles was a good player. They didn't win any of their first seven games. Ismail's first game was QPR, then they beat Watford, my wife, Screamer. Shruba was in charge for the first four games. I don't know if he got sacked. But they would have been dreaming of 19th or wherever I put them after Millwall. They lost to Swansea and Watford, three draws, and nine in a row. Is that the best in the championship? Chelsea also beat them 6 0 when Shrewbo was manager. Havertz got a hat trick. They played Chelsea again and only lost 1 0. Will they be playing Chelsea twice next season? I want Swansea to win the playoffs because I'm doing a career mod on them. Whoever wins that game, I hope goes up. Brentford have found form at the right time. No way are they going to bottle it again. The last relegation spot was between Lewin and Coventry. I wonder Lewin. You got comments on loan? Who even is scoring the goals for them? Collins. Yeah, 10. He's on the bench against Watford and came on to score the pen. Cornick, Sound Assist, Dewsbury Hall. Is he from Leicester? And Tanzu's a decent player. Wasn't Nathan, John, Nathan Jones all for another, another club? Stoke, Derby, one of them. They finished 12th exactly in the table. They'd probably celebrate finishing top half, the weird fans. I put Coventry 18th. That's probably too high for them. They only won two of their first 12. Two, three, two wins. It's Watford where they woke up a bit. I'm beaten for ages. 6 1 today. And they've had to play 46 away games. The team Coventry are sharing the stadium with in 16th. Middlesbrough is 17th. It's the way round. Dukovic 8, Hogan 7. Jude Bellingham got sold. And they retired his shirt number. First game they beat Brentford 1-0. Then a 0-0 draw with Swansea. Then it went wrong. 
I told her Karan Carr got sacked after losing 3 0 at home to Bristol City. Big Boya came in, Charlton manager, did okay, got them up, kept them up. He won five games. The penalty against Swansea, I'm not sure what happened here. They were safe anyway. Huddersfield 15th. Grant went to West Brom. I think he scored once of them. I said I like the midfield. And I said they won't finish lower than 20th. If I didn't do a career mod on them in FIFA 19, then I'll put them lower than 15th. Carlos Corbran came in, replacing the Cowley brothers. Then I had Portsmouth, the career mod I did last year. Yeah, yeah, so no goals, and Imani As came in, and just three transfers. Anyone else? Evans, Holmes, 18 for my arcs. I thought it was good. Keo Nabisar. I think Schindler's missed a lot of the season. He scored a penalty to get them up to the prem. They were never in the bottom three. This was a big result. They beat Swansea twice. Three wins and a draw there. Yeah, look at this, that Swansea game. They were in bad form. Cooper Yarway. Norwich 7-0. Blackburn 5-2. Blackburn won 5-2 as well today. Armstrong got hat-tricks. Heston 14th. That might be where they finished. One place above four wins. It's because they beat Forest. They were losing. Also, when I get to Forest, I might just end the video. They sold two of their better players in January. It was Ben Davies that March? Scott Sinclair scored nine. They won their last four as well. What boring season. Oh, then. Alex Neil getting sacked, and then they brought in a caretaker manager. He decides to get sacked if you lose to Luton at home. I remember this game, the Brentford we all know and love. They were challenging for playoffs last season. 13th Derby. I need to see the Irish guy's reaction to this. Derby second. Insane defence. Four one and three one. Three nil. Four defeats in a row. At this point Brentford's and their form was so bad. I just said what for the going up a month early. Red in eleventh. Joe got nineteen, Mate eleven, at least eight, seven. At least 12 assists. The problem is they don't have much for depth. Then finishing 7th is embarrassing. They were running away with it at the start of the season. It's commentary that killed them. Yeah, 3 2. Then they lost 4 in a row. Another game like Brentford and Preston. Chow. Aluko. Solanke. Danjuma. Cook. Solanke. And Bournemouth for the team that have six police. They've only beat Derby since March 13th. A lot of draws though. And their best players will, will be wanted by of our teams, Richard, Salise, Ajaria, Jao. That season they finished third. I think they lost the playoff final to Huddersfield. But since then they've been in the bottom half. 10th Blackburn, they finished 15th. They had Harvey Elliott, top scorers, Armstrong 28. And you have Harvey Elliott, Brereton, Dak. Probably other players. I thought Armstrong had played Wayless. 
Newcastle had him and Ivan Tony. How many has he played? 16. They had him fit. They'd be challenging for the playoffs at least. They were 7th. Their defence conceded a lot. Six defeats and a draw in February. Two five twos. When the what if pun was that? I needed Blackburn to score six goals in five games to make Armstrong 87 leads. There was nothing. I ended up changing my predictions. 13th Reading, 12th Derby, 11th Blackburn, 10th Swansea. Ninth Bournemouth. I said Solanke could be decent in the championship. I'm saying he got 12 to 15. Yeah, 15. Same with Dan Drummer. And 11 assists. He was outside the playoffs four times. My logic was that a relegated club normally falls apart like them. Eddie Howe left and they brought in Tyndall. He got in he ended up getting Sart, Donna Wynn. After Redden. Jonathan Woodgate. This league is dead when Cardiff and QPR are eighth and ninth. On the feet in fourteen and it was Sheffield Wednesday. Four defeats in a row. Luton Derby Sheffield Wednesday. When they played Barnsley at home, I was like, Barnsley are a team, Bournemouth are a team of individuals. Then they go and win. Seven in a row. I didn't think Begovic would get back in the team. He was making a lot of mistakes in the Prem. They got Billing playing further out of the pitch. Wilshere came back. I said Danjuma could be a new signing. Last year in the Prem, he didn't do anything. This year he got in team of the season. 8th Cardiff. That's where they finished. It's the players that won on few 20 that were good for them. Wilson 12 assists. Old Joel. Sam Ung as well. If they beat Rotherham, they would have been 7th. Reading did concede an equaliser to Huddersfield at the end. Neil Harris got sacked after losing to Wickham. Nate McCarthy came in. February 9th, then the 13th, Coventry. What could beat them? 5 0 Sheffield Wednesday. They sacked Neil Warnock, and Neil Harris got them into 5th. They need to do that more often, set managers halfway through the season. Silent Brentford, so other than Watford and Norwich, there's four L's, big L's. If Ben Rama stays, they will be in the playoffs. He joined West Ham, didn't do anything. I said there you made two good signings, ignore the pun. I want to see how many games the Silver played. 30. Rico Henry played 30 as well. It took them 15 games to get into the playoffs. They were top when they beat Middlesbrough, then bowled it. Two defeats at the new stadium. That first defeat was the Preston game. 3 2 Stoke. Three draws. A lot of wins on my goals. Now I started paying attention to Brentford around here. So many draws. They were sick when they played Watford. It was the Wickham game. I know it's them. What actually happened here? Against Derby, I think they were 2 0 up. Forest equalised. Huddersfield were winning. Birmingham 0 0. And they scored 5 at Preston. 0 0, 1 0. They got to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. 
beating four ten teams. I didn't mention it, I think the playoff final will be Bournemouth versus Swansea. And then I know that Swansea's record against Bournemouth is awful, but I'm going with Swansea, time to change it. Six, Millwall. The final day did end with a six. They started off well, then Huddersfield killed their confidence. They went ten games without a win. I'm guessing they're up there for most games where they haven't scored a goal. 4-1 against Wednesday. 4-1 Bournemouth. 4-1 against Bristol City. 6-1. Stoke 5th. They were there once. I think they finished 15th last year. One place higher. Actually a joke. They lost 2-0 to Bristol City. The team I have above Stoke. 4-3 against Huddersfield. How many games is that without a win? There's one win in 13 games. Three defeats in a row. Only one ball against Bournemouth. They did beat Wolves and Aston Villa away. Also, stay in the table. No one wants you back in the firm. We already have Burnley. They got Rabi Matondo in on loan. He got racially abused after the boycott. They sold Butland. He was awful. Nick Powell 12, Fletcher 9, Campbell. How do you finish 14th with Fletcher, Campbell and Powell? Bristol City 4th. First of all, they employ a lot of memes. Mary Apper, Danny Stilson. Lansbury. Nigel Pearson. Yet I've had Ashley Williams before. Wells 10, Jeju 8. Has Wyman been playing for them? He's one of the main reasons I had them in fourth. 7. The start they had has stopped them from getting relegated 8 points. When I made this video, Bristol City and Huddersfield were the only championship teams mm -hmm. I've made a career mode on. Barnsley's second goal isn't even on the timeline. 90 plus 12 penalty. Their form went after that. They won three in a row. Then just inconsistent. 6-0. Nigel Pearson came in. They gave him like a contract extension as well. I couldn't believe it. Dean Holden went after the Watford and Reading game. His first game was 3-1 at Swansea. I thought, try and get back in the playoffs. But no, 19th. Bristol City or Huddersfield will 100% get relegated next season. A lot of players from my FIFA 18 career mode on them have left. Um, Joel Bryan, Bobby Reed, Josh Brownhill. He has the most interceptions and tackles, I think, in the Prem for Burnley. Third and first are two teams starting with no. Norwich third and Nottingham Forest first. I said my worry for them is if they've recovered from the embarrassment last season bottling in the playoffs. That's why I put them first. They had Ben Watson. Obviously, they would have won it if they had him. He went to Charlton. That was the 1920 season. They were never top 10. I said they were predicting this to win the league. I mean, Forrest are going to be on the thumbnail. This might be my worst prediction ever. They have the same home and away record. That's the reason they lost. They gave Sabri four games and then said it's time to go. To be fair, he lost to four banner clubs. 
my logic was that me and this guy was doing Portsmouth career mode at the time. So I'll just put them in the top two, the clubs we support. I didn't put them in the automatics because they were losing every week in the Prem. I think he only lost Godfrey and Jamal Lewis. It's like Ben Gibson. Yeah, it's just them to Team close, I guess, is alright. Pookie 26, Vendee are 15. Vendee are 17 assists. 97 points. I want to see how many they got last time. 94, 3 more. You start off badly, then run off with it. When they got relegated to the championship in 16, 17, they finished 8th. Obviously, new manager or better players. This season, they were second once. I just wanted to be them. 1 0 Bournemouth and 1 0 Derby. That's why Watford and Norwich have gone up, just win games. Even sometimes when we're not playing well. And I was on the bus checking their results, just getting late winners again, like the 80 season. 